Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nathan with Freedom Influencer and this is gonna be an awesome video if you want to learn how to do affiliate marketing because I'm gonna share with you some key points that I wish I knew when I started in affiliate marketing and I really think it's gonna help you out. First, I wanna welcome you guys to the channel. This is Freedom Influencer. So I have a lot of videos, how to make money uh, online, how to create a passive income, and how to ultimately create a life of freedom. So if you want more videos from me, I invite you guys to go down, subscribe, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified when I'm putting out new videos. Now, with that being said, uh, before I go into this, if you want to know what my number one recommendation for making money online is right now, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can click that link and you'll get access to see my number one recommendation. Now let's get into this video because I have some very key points that I want to share with you that I honestly, I wish I took serious and I wish I knew these when I started with affiliate marketing. So let's get into number one, and that is nothing is as simple as it seems. And you may see you know, a lot of six-figure earners or even seven-figure earners you know, in this industry called affiliate marketing, right? Sometimes I post my earnings, you know, how I'm right now making a very significant amount of money, but let me tell you something, you guys, it's not as as simple as it seems. And what I mean by that is I'm not saying that the, the process isn't simple to you know create a life-changing income with affiliate marketing, all right? The process is very simple, but getting to where you want to go, and if that if the case is for you like it is for me, financial freedom and beyond to change your, your life situation, the process is going to be difficult and I want you to understand that. And it's gonna be more difficult than you think, all right? Again, this doesn't mean the process of how it all works is that complex, it's very simple, but understand that you're gonna have to work your butt off to get where you wanna go. Which leads us into number two, which is to embrace delayed gratification, all right? When I first started out, I think that I honestly, I had false expectations with affiliate marketing and how much money I was gonna make and how fast I was gonna make that money. And that is something that you see all the time in this, this entire make money online affiliate marketing space is that you see marketers like even myself and you see other top income earners sharing very simple strategies with you. Now, you have to understand that First of all, you know, the strategies that are shared, a lot of times they are very simple. But again, if we bring it back to tip number one, or what I wish I knew, is that just because something is a simple process doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It still may be hard. And one of the hardest things for people to understand, and even for me when I first started, I got very frustrated, was that I didn't get the instant results that I wanted immediately, and so there was, a type of delayed gratification that is required if you wanna create success online. And that is why most people quit, is because they don't understand delayed gratification. And here's the thing, you guys, if you can understand this, you'll start to take action knowing that the results will come in the future. It may not be tomorrow, it may not be next week, it may not be a, you know two, three months down the road, but if you, you have a vision and you know where you wanna go and how, you know, the potential of how much you can earn, that should be a driving factor enough to keep you going. All right, lesson number three that I wish I knew when I first started was to not pay for ads until I knew how to run them. All right, I, I ran ads uh, here and there for two or three years, you guys, without actually learning exactly what I need to do. And that resulted in me losing on ads, one to $2,000, all right? I just, and this is not like 
this is spread out over time. I would try ads and then I'd back out and then I'd try ads and you know, they weren't profitable and I'd back out. So what I wish I would have done and now looking back at it, what I would tell myself and what I would tell you guys is don't jump into advertising if you don't know what you're doing. You know, advertising can absolutely explode your business, but it can also sink your business and eat up all of your money if you have no idea what you're doing. So my advice to you would be if you want to start building your business and growing it with paid advertising, first of all, wait until you have a budget. If you do not have the money to be spending on ads, do not put money into them because it's going to take a little little bit of money to basically you're gonna have to lose a little bit of money in order to figure out what works with advertising to make them profitable. So if you don't have the money to invest and lose a little bit to know that you can make a lot more back, don't run ads. The second thing with ads is that invest into yourself, all right? There's plenty of courses that you can invest in out there that will teach you exactly what to do with paid advertising. Now, I know that some people would say, well, Nathan, there's there's you know free content on YouTube teaching me how to do it. That's true. And you know what? If you don't have money to invest in a course, then absolutely go to YouTube and learn how to use ads, how to run advertising. But my recommendation is to save up and then when you have money, invest into a course because a course is all of the knowledge boxed up for you usually step by step so you can know exactly what to do with paid advertising. Point number four of wish what I wish I knew going into this is that I wish I knew that I should be taking 10 times the amount of action of what I did when I started, all right? You know, over the last few months, my business has skyrocketed through the roof. And you know, I've been doing online marketing, I've been doing affiliate marketing, for almost three years now, and in the last four or five months, I've made more, probably two or three or four times more, maybe even more than that, in the last five months than I did in two and a half years. And I believe one of the main reasons this has happened is because I took 10 times the amount of action. And so here's what I mean by this, all right? Right now, I'm doing YouTube videos, okay? I do YouTube videos, I do, um, I do email marketing, okay? And I do have a blog, but I'm not active on it because I'm focusing on one thing, which is gonna lead us into another point here in just a minute. But here's what I would tell you guys, is that whatever you think that you need to be doing in whatever way that you're marketing your business, if you're using uh, video marketing and, or you're doing blog posts, whatever the case may be, let's take blog posts for an example. If you're growing your business with blogging, that is how you're creating your content, I would recommend, and maybe some people are saying, okay, well, I'm gonna post two blogs uh, a week, all right? Basically, what I would tell you is double what your efforts are. So don't do you know, two blog posts, do four, all right? If you're doing video marketing and you're doing videos on YouTube and you say, well, I'm gonna put up two videos a, a week on YouTube, I would double it, all right? double down on your business because you guys, affiliate marketing has changed my life. It changes so many other people's lives and here's the cool thing about it. Anybody can do it. It absolutely, you can change your life with affiliate marketing and growing an online business but do you wanna do it slow or do you wanna do it fast? And the way that you're gonna be able to do it fast is literally by sprinting towards your goals, sprinting towards your dreams, which means taking massive action, waking up every day, do something every single day to move your business forward. When I first started, I did not do this. And let me explain to you one of the biggest things that I did and that so many other people do, more than likely, you do the same thing if you're brand new. And that is, take in all this information, all right? Take in all the information and never apply anything, all right? So here's the difference. Here's the difference between people who become successful with affiliate marketing or growing an online business from the, the ones who simply wish they would become successful, all right? You need to change your mindset of becoming a consumer to a producer. From consuming content on, on an everyday basis, now it's okay you know, a certain amount, but you don't wanna spend all of your time consuming content. 
you want to consume content and then double down take twice the amount of time that you you were consuming the content creating content and producing content and that is how you move your business forward all right you guys point number five of what i wish i knew when i first started and this really is a big thing because i really think this delayed my success in so many other people who are trying to create success in affiliate marketing or growing an online business i believe like myself it held me back it's holding so many people back and that is not focusing on one marketing strategy one marketing strategy so i kind of already touched on this you guys if you're doing youtube videos focus on youtube don't don't take your youtube videos and then say okay i create youtube videos and then i'm going to go over to facebook and then i'm going to write a blog post and I'm gonna do all these different things focus on one thing and let me explain to you because i know some people might disagree with this but let me explain something to you if you don't have results in any of your marketing strategies or or you don't have the results that you desire right now you need to double down or triple down on whatever that strategy is that you know you can do more of. So here's the thing, if you're a good writer and you're not very good on video, you need to double down on writing and blogging or whatever written form you're using. If you are good on video or you're good at making videos, maybe you're even doing screencasts, I do some of those sometimes where you just record your screen. If you're good at that, double, triple down on that. Now, I, I wanna explain to you, this is only if you don't have the desired results now obviously you know if you have the income results that you want if you have the business growth that you want absolutely feel free branch out into other ways to grow your business but here's the thing most people are not where they want to be they're not getting the results that they want in their business their business isn't at the income level that they want so that's where you stick to one thing until you get the results you want all right and believe me, if you just have that mindset that I'm gonna do this until I get the results that I want, it will happen for you. You just have to hang in there, double, triple down, take massive action, and you can get there, trust me. Hey you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. If you did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. it let's me know that you guys learned something from this video. Now, here's the thing. I wanna hear from you guys about your affiliate marketing experience and really what is your biggest struggle with affiliate marketing if you have started with affiliate marketing. I would love to know really what what's going on out there. Did any of these points resonate with you in the struggles that I experienced and that I see out in the marketplace? And then also, what do you guys think is the best thing to overcome the struggles that you guys have. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll engage with you guys down there. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel here on Freedom Influencer, I'd love to have you guys subscribe so you get more videos from me. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.